Hi there, this is just a brief video to show you how to change an object from model space to paper space. And you can do it in the other direction as well. So you can see down here it says I'm in paper space. And so I'm going to activate the viewport. I'm going to activate my portal into model space by either double clicking it or you can just click this button and it brings you, you can see now you have the wireframe and the view cube and all of all of that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and create some text. And this is way too small, so I'm going to make it bigger. Say this is text and click out. Oh, let me get to my zoom extents there. Get back to my one to seven. Okay, so I have this text, but it is in model space. So if I look on my model tab, there it is. Well, I don't, I don't want it to be there. And let's, uh, let's just bring in the flowers as well. So I'm going to right click, select similar, and then I'm also going to select the text. Now I'm going to change space. C H S enter and now I'm back in paper space and I can select all of the things that I brought in of course I can't select the things that are in model space because I'm in paper space I can't access them if I get into model space within my layout yeah I can go ahead and select those things that are in model space but not the things that are in paper space so what if I say, oh, wait, I didn't want the flowers to be in model space. Let's select them and change space again. And now I'm in model space where they are. Go back to paper space and I won't be able to select them because the window, the portal is not open. So that's just a brief explanation of the change space function, I'm sorry, command. Uh, and yes, you will probably need to use this on the job. It's actually handy for a number of reasons uh, and it's quite easy as you can see, thanks.